All right, welcome back to the Golden Gift Qualifier number one. We've got Chronic Val here on Odin in the Blue Trunks up against Huss Up here on Thor in the Red Trunks. So I thought player going to get going early with uh, early gold mining with the dwarf star. Going to be able to just hunt off the one ox cart. Not worry about um, a second ox cart for now. So I imagine he's probably going <laughs> to get hunting dogs here as well. Yo. A pig sticker actually. Where is that? The villagers already benefiting from hunting dogs. Pig sticker. Gonna cost gold as well. But. Well, no problem there for the Thor player using Dwarven Mines straight off the bat. Uh, Odin player. Chronic Fell would have used. Grain hunt straight on the caribou would have got two or three extra of these little suckers. Nice, 150 food bonus per each of those. <sighs> on top of that, Odin basically gets the benefit of pig sticker without having to take an upgrade, I believe. In terms of the actual gather speed, you don't get the bonus damage to huntables so in theory Thor still has an easier time of taking aurochs down or boars or you know the aggressive huntables even uh, villagers being attacked by things like wolves probably less of a threat for Thor than it is for pretty much any other Civ early on that's not Atlantia but that aside Odin is pretty much equal if not slightly better or slightly worse in terms of the gather rate, um, once you factor in pig sticker, because Norse gonna have access to that. Well, Thor is, well, the other Norse gods don't, but yeah. Pretty much for muchness, other than the fact that Thor's gonna be mining out all this extra starting gold. The Odin player is going to mine it straight out of their original gold mine. In both cases, uh, these Norse gods have a lot of go forward with their eco bonuses, going to be able to take a very aggressive or macro E age too. I mean, Loki's pretty much the same. Aside from a minor hunting boost that the other two gods will get. But I guess the beauty with them is, is that they'll be able to generate myth units on hit with uh, Herseas. So it's best off that they do stay in combat. Uh, combat. The Odin. The advantage of the scouting, so Chronic will be looking at splitting up and sending off those ravens in a sec. Go and camp out some locations around the map to either prevent his Thor opponent from trying to get on the town centers easily or even just watch out for potential pushing on his own side of the map. So Sup, doing a bit of a scout out with this hearse here, just making sure there's nothing going down over here. You may be getting the resources. Oh, let's say for second town center, or is he just gonna? Just gonna go for eco tax and army, perhaps. Chronic snatching up a relic there, making his villages slightly cheaper. I 
Now, I don't believe it impacts dwarves. I think it only impacts gatherers for the Norse, so in theory it's not such a big relic as it is for the other sibs. But, in saying that, it is still a benefit, and it is a mirror, so... Well, it's a mirror by a sieve type, not by god type. So, chronic. Let's go on forest. Fire. Access to Valkyrie. Thor. Same. So, both going for Freya. I was trying to raid Chronic, but Chronic taking the long way around. Eventually, going to be able to hit Husk as well. Chronic able to ward Husk off with that. So much as a scratch. So Raiders here for Husk. Well, Chronic's gone for infantry. So, Officer actually going to have the advantage here in the fight. So, Force Husk to either have to raid with these raiding cavalry. Can't eat that. Or... He's gonna have to look at, um... Trying to catch him out. Yeah, with the forest fire giving him a bit of extra damage. It looks like Chronic's gonna use forest fire on the back half of the tree line, so it's not actually gonna impact his guys walking out, and it's gonna mean that us can't really chase him, because his, his opponent's forest fire will beat his, so... With forest fire damage, I think... It must only damage the units of the enemy, hey? Okay? Because both of them ended up using it there. But then ultimately ended up backing out too. So Chronic trying to go for a raid here, but Husk looking at pushing with his whole army at the moment. So I've got three Raxes already for Husk Chronic. I think going for the two. And he's slightly later on that second one as well. Hmm. So it looks like Chronic's only got four Ulfs looking to... Ah, uh, he's got some others over here to try and harass the hunt hero of Husk. This is a nice raid here for Chronic because he's got some backup here. It's going to force us to have to send a few more units to clean this up, I think. Going to lose the ox cart. They're just having to make a bit of a run for it. Meanwhile, there is a bigger army for a husk here. Pushing into Chronic on 40, oh, 65 pop to husk 91, so. Chronic's gotten pop capped here. He needs to actually throw down a house, but not going to get it down quickly enough to be able to just spam out the units. They really probably could have afforded to have a few more villagers on the food and have that third barracks by now because it looks like Husk can actually just about overwhelm him, even under the town center. And if he gets a villager or two, this could really be worth it. Husk is going to make sure he gets that guy. So a couple of gatherer kills here, as well as I think the army size favouring Husk. He's actually ended up ahead in terms of the army walking out of this still. Like he was already up, but he's sort of not really any further behind. Even though he's fighting under static defence. The chronic chasing. It's not really enough throwing Axeman to punish him for doing so. So he's going to back out now, he'll be fine. Chronic now going for another raid, Good this time that. again. Be pretty successful, going to get a couple of... Good that. Good yeah, point. you might get a couple of ill kills here. Yeah. Skip. You probably should have stayed Good and fought that. that. Or just target fired down Vils through it. Because he did get both the throwing axemen, so by then, you know, it's one elf and a bunch of villagers. Tilbuin, where is that? That's what, three health, he'd be eager to 
to snatch her off Husk here. Because he's already killed a couple of gatherers in response to losing the ox cart. I think Husk's army is in, again, slightly better shape here. Looks like Chronic struggling to get on enough food here. He was heading over here for the last caribou, but decided to head straight over this other bigger pack because there's a lot more food. The barracks are going to get interrupted, which is rough. Because now he's stuck on two racks to husks three. So production is obviously a lot easier for husk. And now they're in the point where they can definitely make use of uh, three barracks is pretty easily. Skirmishes going off and Chronic winning a lot of these little skirmishes and getting a bit of good harass off against uh, Husk here at the moment. So I think he's actually he's creeping ahead in terms of score. But he's got a lot of gold in the bank, needs to get a bit more wood. I'll even cut this gold gathering briefly, just gather the wood or gather some more food just to pump out some units here because he's only 66 pop to husks 84 neither player making any attempt to try and go for a second town center or go for the heroic age here Ooh, chronic gonna be a little late here there we go he's gonna at least catch the ox cart so this could be a bit of a pain the husk might have to replace this this could be a good raid here for Husk because he's going to come straight past the hunt. He's wrapping the long way around, eh? Like he sort of misses it completely. He doesn't really get the opportunity because he's trying to check over here at the far side. But even still, Chronic knows something's up, so he's out of here. But there's not a lot of food left on these guys anyway. And he'd rather be safe than sorry. It's not quite enough elves to fight into the raiding calves. So the harassing subsided for the minute. Villagers must have fought the elves, eh? There's still that Valkyrie over there in the far corner, so... Chronic probably should have... He's forgotten about her and he really probably should have brought her in to... Try and harass this hunt here or just to try and park the hunt instead of parking you on the berries because it's sort of the last resort you, you're definitely going to go for the hunt first particularly in you know Odin or Thor matchups because you've got so many good hunt techs so that's a little rough there for Chronic Thank you for whatever that was. Sorry, I don't want to check because for whatever reason, AOM tends to freeze up the camera if I do alt tab to check the likes for uh, likes for follows and subscriptions. It's a hus. Well, he can make the barracks. He's already got this already once, so he's forced Chronic to have to invest in a third in another. Third longhouse for the third time. Yo. Now it's up. Nice little raid here on Chronic. And I get Tilbuin. a villager and really Skate slow down a bit of gathering because, I mean, the whole Tilbuin. time that these guys are running around trying to avoid being killed, not gathering, they're not gathering. So, it's up going to take a fairly forward town center. He's forced Chronic off the food. Really walled him in on this side, so trying to get back out here will be a little bit difficult. Very swift. Going to go for another armory, but then cancels it straight away because he realizes his opponent's going to let him finish off this one. Yeah. And the wall's going to tell Sup that his opponent attempting to get on that gold mine. So as long as he keeps an ulf on each gold mine up here, it's going to be rough for Chronic because Sup will be keeping an eye on his gold tab. In fact, he's even going to try walling in the hunt and the gold mine. And forces his opponent to play around this gold. 
Like a very easy raiding opportunity, but at the same time, Chronic isn't making things easy for sub. Raiding with ulfs is good because even though it's slightly uh, slower than the, the raiders, in theory, if you've got just as many ulfs fighting raiders, you should win that trade because they are the anti cav in versus an anti range cav. So, there is an advantage to raiding with ulfs for sure, but. same time. Chronic needs to be careful that he's not going to get locked out of gold mines here from Sup because well both the hunt and the gold mine are walled off there. The one over here. That wall should be giving Sup just enough line of sight that he can see things coming past it. So Chronic's have to try and deal some damage here, relieve a bit of Pressure on himself. We get a couple of villager kills. And unlike his good self, these gatherers cost 50 food instead of 45. So trading vill for vill in theory. Advantageous for him, because he does have a relic. The cheaper villagers. Where is it? Yeah, chronics. System of Bast. Big massive throwing axemen there for Husk, which is going to give him the advantage in an all out fight here at the moment. So he's almost deliberately taking fights with his raiders just to try and, you know, even into Ulfs just because he can make throwing axemen instead. Keep active with his raiders around the map. He's throwing Axeman out to try and kite, but GG. Chronic's got to tap out from there because he loses his main army and once again he slips a bit further behind and Sup takes the game.